G'day everyone and welcome back to Exploring Sydney and beyond. And today we're going to have a look at this beautiful old family home that sits here and sadly awaits demolition. So Angel's already inside taking a few photos, so what are we waiting for? Let's go. All right, everyone. Let's go and have a look at what remains of this beautiful family home. Look at that nice old fireplace sitting here. Have a look at this light. Beautiful is that? I don't know if that's brass or not. It, um, it looks like it. Maybe. But, wow, well, you can just imagine. There's another one over there on the wall too. You can just imagine having the fireplace going, just sitting here nice and cosy in the lounge room. Absolutely beautiful. I love these old um, internal brick style homes. Not only they add character, but they, they add so much strength, you know, to the home, making it look so strong. Oh, wow. This kitchen's actually quite nice. Reasonably modern. Stainless steel. I'm surprised the scrappers haven't come through here yet and taken some of these things. But it's good to see they haven't. Wow, how about this cupboard space? Holy crap. <laughs> that was a lot of cupboard space. And just a little island at the back there. And we had ducted aircon. So this is where it looks like the scrappers have paid a little bit of a visit. Oh God, look at these tiles. Unreal. <laughs> oh geez, okay, yeah, it looks like the old owners have spent some money on this house. At one point or another. Nice shower. I wonder if it's got water. No, no water. Okay, so just coming out of the bathroom. Let's just step into one of the bedrooms here. Oh wow, someone's punched a hole right through the wall. Okay. We've got a little bit of wardrobe space. And just turn around over into here. This looks like the master bedroom with a little ensuite. My mum's favourite colour. She loves anything blue. So I think we've got one more bedroom over here. Yeah, just a very basic children's room. So um, I was going to open this blind up. Show you the this area. This area is um, part of a major redevelopment. I'm just going to bring the blind up slowly so the glare and the light change has time to adjust. All right. So I'm just going to show you outside, everyone. So there is like an old little farm shed, but if we just have a sneaky peek 
this way. You can see it's brand new housing development happening all around us and over to the left as well, just through the trees and in the distance, um, there's all brand new houses still fenced off. So obviously this property sat on some land um, which developers have obviously bought and they're gonna tear this house down and they're gonna put up as many homes as they can fit um, on this block of land, I suspect. So um, let's go to the other side of the house. Angel's through here somewhere. So we'll say hello. Hello, Angel. <laughs> Good, how are you? And you too. It's it's very good to have her back. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's awesome to be back. <laughs> okay, so we just come into this little back. I reckon this was a converted um, garage. I think it used to be a double garage, and they've converted this. Just have a look at the um, the awning or pergola here. That's sort of, I saw that from the road and when I was driving past, that's what I saw in the distance and I'm like, okay, that house looks, you know, abandoned, so to speak. So, and here we've got the garage. <clears throat> I wonder if they, those stairs, hmm, I don't know what they were used for. They don't, I don't think they're long enough to go up to the manhole. I actually think those stairs might have something to do with, um, with that farm shed out the back, wherever they had access. Let's have a look. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like they would have had access up into the attic over there. Um, why don't we go have a look down there? The back door's locked, so we'll have to walk around. I'll see you down there. Hopefully this, hopefully I can get there okay. And, um, all right, we'll see he's down there. Okay, so I've just come around the back of the house and I've got a little porch here at the back. And just through here, they've got a, a swimming pool, which has definitely seen cleaner days. And here we've got this gazebo that's destroyed. Just in a fair bit of visibility right now from the street. Let's try to get ourselves down here. I can hear some voices. Could be some builders on site next door. Okay. Yeah, have a look at this. Now, you remember those stairs that we saw in the garage? 100% they come from here. Let's check that out. Nice big opening. Looks the same sort of timber. So I 100% say those stairs were carried up to the garage and they were um, nailed or screwed into here somewhere. definitely hearing voices and it's pretty close too. All right. Yeah. There's a whole bunch of camera signs there too, which I would suspect it's just for the new building development. I don't know. Obviously builders don't want people coming and stealing and trashing new homes. So totally understandable for cameras there. This is the back of the home, obviously, as if we approach it again. Um, I do see a camera on a pole over there, but it's, it's for that yard. So, um, hey, big shout out as well. Hello, you scared me. <laughs> I just want to do a big shout out. Um, a lot of you have uh, left me some really nice comments when I said I'm going to take a little bit of a break. And um, you know what we're going to do? We're just going to step back inside this house because I'm in full view. Car's going past, that person was looking at me. <laughs> All right. Like I was saying, a big shout out. 
Um, a lot of you have commented um, on my little community post. Um, I said I was going to take a little bit of a break, and I am. I'm just taking a. I'm just taking it a little bit easier at the moment. Um, just working 40 hours a week. I've got a lot of family things going on as well. Um, everything's under control, but it's just a lot going on. And as I've said, running the channel can take up to 30 hours a week with, um, with, with recon, looking for places, researching, and obviously filming and then editing and putting it all together and uploading. So it all takes a lot of time. And unfortunately, I've just been a little bit slack on time lately. So I am still getting out. Um, not quite on a weekly basis, but I am getting out. But I just want to say a big thank you to all of you um, for your support. I, I so appreciate it. And um, I am going to keep doing this. I absolutely love it. And what else can I say? I'm probably babbling on right now. But thank you, thank you everyone so much. And um, I'm going to see you all in the next video very, very soon. Until then, take care. Bye bye. And I almost forgot. Get out there and explore your world, everyone. All right, bye-bye.